So hello guys and welcome to another video and I just wanted to go ahead and say that there are some minor spoilers for Super Mario Bros. Wonder in this video. So if you plan on playing through it blindly, I recommend waiting to watch this video. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So Super Mario Bros. Wonder is an absolutely amazing game. Like I said in my last video, it's really fun, it revolutionizes 2D Mario, it has nearly everything that I've been wanting from a 2D Mario game in terms of gameplay, level design, creativity, like it's such a major upgrade from the new Super Mario Bros. series, like I can really go on for hours with how many things this game improves from kind of the issues that I've had with how, um, like stale the new Super Mario Bros. series past Wii was and how little innovation there was in those games compared to how Wonder is. So, like I said, Wonder is an absolutely amazing game. Definitely becoming one of my favorite games of all time. But I think there's only one thing holding this game back from being absolutely perfect. And that is the bosses. And that is one thing that they really didn't expect them to kind of mess up or like be acts weirdly about. Like I I wouldn't say they entirely messed up the bosses cuz I'd, st I'd still say they're fun. Like I I'd, I'd still say there's like a level of fun to them that I'll get to in a little bit. But my problem with the bosses is that they, they're all Bowser Jr., except for the final boss, but I don't know what the final boss is yet since I'm still playing through the game. Though, I do feel like it is fair to judge the bosses at the point of the game that I'm in, since I'm at World 5 now, I've done the first four worlds, and all of the bosses leading up to that point were Bowser Jr., so I think it is fair to kind of judge that aspect of it since I have um, encountered that as an issue. And that is a like a pretty large portion of the game. Um, so yeah, I didn't really expect them to go this route for the bosses. Like I was fully expecting them to do something like Yoshi's Island or New Super Mario Bros. DS or even Super Mario Odyssey or Galaxy to a degree where they either do like, different enemies that are transformed into a certain way. They could have used the wonder effect to kind of transform different enemies and things, or even have, like, original characters based on enemies, like King bob or Goomba King. Um, not those characters specifically, but I mean, like, a character based on them. Um, like, I guess, like, a King Mama or something like that. But, yeah, it's... Kind of disappointing that they didn't really go in that direction. I even find it a little disappointing that they didn't use the Koopalings over Bowser Jr. I mean, that wouldn't have been ideal since I feel like the Koopalings are kind of overused and I feel like there would have been some backlash from the fans inevitably even if they did use the Koopalings. Um, but yeah, with the Koopalings, I feel like that still would have been a little better than just Bowser Jr. for each of the bosses. Like, I just think it's really weird that they did this. Like, it kind of seems like something that they would do for, like, the towers, if they had towers in this game. Like, with having Bowser Jr. kind of take, take on different forms in each of the towers, and then the main boss would be something else. So, I think it's kind of weird that they're just doing it all with Bowser Jr. And it just doesn't make sense when comparing it with the rest of the game. Because the rest of the game, like looking at it into perspective with a lot of other Mario games, it's extremely creative and tries so many new ideas. So that's why I think it's just really weird that they went in this direction. But with the bosses themselves, like, well, with the gameplay of the bosses, I would say that it is a little better 
then the gameplay of the new Super Mario Bros. bosses. Because I feel like with those, it's just jump on them three times. With these, I, I will give them credit for making them a little more interesting. Like, because I think they take five hits now rather than three. And there's actually different phases this time for the bosses. I'm not just like doing the same moves over and over again. There are different moves between phases that Bowser Jr. does. So I will give them credit for that. I just think it's weird that they just kept using Bowser Jr. Like, is these different themes could have worked for different characters. Like, it's just kind of weird how they handled it. And also with the gameplay itself, like, it's not, like, even though I said it was an upgrade from the new Super Mario Bros. series, and I was giving it credit for doing something a little different, it's still not that good in terms of, like, design for the bosses. Like, I still feel like they could have done more to make it more interesting rather than just jumping on their head with Bowser Jr., with his head and everything. They could have done something a little different. Like, if they did have different ideas for, like, new characters for different bosses, they could have had it in ways where you can attack them in, like, completely different ways. Like, in Super Mario Bros. Wonder, there's so many different level concepts. Like, one of them is, like, basically pulling out a string to reveal things. Um, there's also, like, a whole enemy that kind of revolves around that as well. There's on-off switches, like, from Mario Maker... And, like, so many other things as well. They could have utilized some of those ideas into the bosses. But it really seems like it, it is kind of basic. Like, even though they do do a little bit of the wonder effects with the bosses. Like, it's still just, like, just little, like, effects that you would kind of expect to see with the Koopalings in either, like, Super Mario World or the new Super Mario Bros. games. Just slightly more interesting than that. So, yeah. Overall, I think it's kind of disappointing and out of place that Bowser Jr. is the only, like, boss in this game. And it's just different variations of Bowser Jr. And... I feel like the gameplay itself, even though it is definitely an upgrade from the previous 2D Mario games, could have done something a little more interesting. But yeah, even though this problem really isn't too big and doesn't really affect the game that much for me overall, because I've really never had that much of a problem with 2D Mario bosses in the past, like, it really, it never really seemed like a major focus of the game to me, because they've always been pretty simplistic throughout the years. So this really isn't a major issue at all. I just think it's something that sticks out like a sore thumb in a game that's extremely creative and is one of the best Mario games of all time. It's just weird that that's one of the only flaws with it, because that's something you really wouldn't expect them to mess up. Like, because that, that was something that I thought was obvious that they would kind of deliver on with the bosses and everything. But yeah, anyways, not too big of an issue for me. I just think it was kind of worth noting because it's kind of weird. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye.